if you've just taken the UCAT, then massive congratulations. Um, that is a top exam, so hopefully you'll know how to do it again. But if you're not so pleased with your results, then do not stress, literally. I know people who've gotten into medicine with like a 550 UCAT. So almost all the information, almost all, all the information from this video is from either the Medic Portal or Medic Mind. I'll put links to both of the articles that I'm using for this entire video in case you guys wanna like have a look at it for yourself. But I'm pretty much just gonna condense and combine um, what the Medic Portal and Medic Mind have said like is a good place to apply to for low UCAT scores. And if anyone's wondering, I got 637.5 for my UCAT score and I got band two. So the first one is Cardiff. When selecting for interview, Cardiff ranks based on GCSEs and the way that they kind of um, type who gets an interview is they kind of um they give your gcse's and your a levels a score and um the gcse's have to include biology chemistry english and maths so essentially if you've got lots of sevens eights and nines if you're very gcse heavy then that could possibly compensate for your low ucat here are the average ucat scores of people who applied to cardiff from 2017 to 2019 and then what the average ucat score of people who got offers from cardiff were keel is a very popular one that people apply to if they have a low ucat i know a bunch of people who have gotten in with like a ucat score in the 500 so that's definitely an option if your score is around that mark you only need um three a's for keel like a level wise but if you've got um, an a star and epq that's dropped down to aab for keel any applicants scoring in the bottom 20 percent of the ucat or who get banned for won't be considered but um for 2020 the cutoff was 2280 the main tool that they use to select for interview is their R and R form, which is just roles and responsibilities. So um, it's kind of where you talk about like work experience, volunteering, and that sort of thing. If you've done lots of work experience, Keel might be a good option for you. Belfast use academics and the UCAT to select for interview. UCAT is allocated points, um, but you can make up for it in your academics because that's also allocated points too. Once you're allocated points and that's kind of added up together, you're ranked. So the people with the highest overall points are invited to interview. And in 2020 you needed 30 points, 2019 32 points and in 2018 it was 30 points. Sunderland uses the exact same selection process as Kiel so if you can get into Kiel you can probably get into Sunderland as well. They use that same R&R form and the R&R form is the main way that they decide who gets an interview. For Plymouth their cutoff score for the UK in 2020 was 597 which is quite low. In 2019 it was 582.5, 2018 it was 600. Lincoln has a new medical school but they're using Nottingham's program. What they do is um, your GCSEs are scored. For 2020 the average UCAT score that got an interview was 630. At Liverpool they mainly look at your academics or your GCSEs. Your um, top nine GCSEs are scored. GCSEs account for 75% of the selection process and then the other 25% is your UCAT. So if you've got really good GCSEs you could make up for your low UCAT score. In 2020 a score of 600 was considered competitive to get an interview. Aston has no cutoff score but they do use it in combination with your academics. The lowest UCAT score they got on offer was 2120. A couple of people on the student room have said that they, you, you know, it's possible to get into Birmingham with a low UCAT score. Birmingham is notorious for being like a place where you need pretty much all A stars, eights and nines to get in. But because they mainly use your GCSEs, you, you can make up for like a low UCAT score. The UCAT score only counts for 30% of the points allocated, um, but I couldn't find any information on like a cutoff score. If you want to find out a list of universities or medical schools that accept a low GCSE score, then make sure to watch this video. I got into Newcastle Medical school and my offer was ABB so you can find out about a bunch of other schemes with similar entry requirements for medicine in this video. Thanks for watching!